All right, so today we're finding the slope of each line by using two points. And what I wanna do is I wanna take these two points that are on the graph and figure out what the slope is. So to do that, I can do this two ways. The first way is by using rise over run. We know that M is gonna stand for slope. And we're gonna have rise on top and run on the bottom. And this is because we're always trying to find the change in Y on the top of the fraction versus the change in X on the bottom of the fraction. So rise is going to be how far up you go or how far down you go. And run is going to be how far to the left or how far to the right you go. Now, usually when I'm doing this from a graph, I'm taking two points and I want to go from left to right. I always want to go from left to right. So I'm going to choose this point right here to be my starting point. And I want to go all the way to this point up here. That's going to be my end point. So I want to know how far up I need to go to get from the bottom point to the top point. And then I'm going to count to see how far to the right I need to go to get from this point to this point. So what is my rise going to be? That's how far up I need to go. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six. That's how far up I need to go to get from the left point to the right point. And now I need to figure out how far to the right I need to go to get from this point to this point. And that I only need to go two points to the right. So I'm going to put two in the denominator. So now that I have six over two, I can divide these two numbers. Six divided by two is going to give me three. So that's going to be my slope. Notice that this is a positive number. So this line is going to have a positive slope, which means that the line is going to go up as you go from left to right. Okay, for number four, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing that we did on number one. We're gonna use rise over run to figure out the slope of this line. Now, usually I start off with the left point and I go all the way to the right point. So I'm always going from left to right. So for this point right here, I'm trying to see how far up I need to go or how far down I need to go to get to this point. In this case, I'm going to be going down and I need to go down twice. So my rise is going to be negative two. How far to the right do I need to go? I need to go one, two, three, four spaces to the right. So I'm going to put a positive four in the denominator. So now what's negative two divided by four? This is a negative fraction, but I can simplify it by dividing by two on the top and the bottom. So I get negative one over two. Negative one half is going to be my slope. I can also write this as a decimal negative 0 0.5. So I could also write my answer this way. Notice that this line has a negative slope because this one half is negative. So what that means is as the graph goes to the right, it's going to go down. That's the negative slope. Okay. So that is a negative slope. Let's look at number nine, because this one is gonna be a special type of slope. Notice that we have a completely horizontal line. So when I use rise over run, I should get zero for my slope. So let's see if that happens. I always go from left to right 
So I'm going to start at this point over here, and I'm going to go all the way to this point on the right. So how far up do I need to go to get from the left point to the right point? I don't need to go up at all. So my rise is going to be zero. Now, how far do I need to run to get to this point? I need to go to the right six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. So my run is going to be a positive six. So now I have zero over six, and that's going to give me zero divided by six, which is zero. So this is going to have a zero slope. And whenever you have a zero slope, you're going to have a completely horizontal line. Okay, so the last one we're going to do is number six. And I'm kind of going out of order because this has a special type of slope. This line is completely vertical, which means my slope is going to be undefined. But let's see how that works when we put it into the slope formula. I'm always going to have m equals rise over run. And I always want to start at the left and move to the right. Well, for this, I don't have a left point and a right point. So you just need to choose one of the points to make that your starting point. For this one, I'm going to choose the bottom point as my starting point. So how far up do I need to go to get from the bottom point to the top point? I need to go up one, two, three, four, five. So my rise is going to be a positive five. In the denominator, I'm going to have my run. That's how far to the right I need to go. Do I need to go to the right at all? No. So my run is going to be zero. I have five divided by zero. And since I'm dividing by zero, I'm not going to get a real number for my answer. In fact, if you try this in your calculator, you'll get an error because you're dividing by zero. So because you're dividing by zero, I'm not going to get a number for my answer, but I'm going to write undefined because the slope of this line is undefined. And that's gonna be the case for every vertical line.